My guide for pelvic floor strengthening for the beginners is to understand the mechanics of your pelvis movement and stability before you think about strengthening. We are so busy trying to get to the end that we don't set the foundation down. Hi, I'm Dr. Shakib from Core Pelvic Floor Therapy right here in Irvine, Orange County. In order for your muscles and for your body parts to be strong, you need to give them what it takes to give you the strength back. So what is the number one and the foundation to strengthening is to make sure that your pelvis is nice and stable. Most often people don't even know what that means. When I say neutral spine, when I say balanced pelvis, there is no concept involved. So balanced pelvis in a laying down position is when you're laying down with your knees bent and the small of the back, the curvature in your lower back is closed. That means there is no gap. So now by, by practicing that, when you're standing up, you can duplicate the same thing you did when you were laying down. That we call elongation of the spine. So in, in this position, let me show you, if I'm arching my back and the tendency is typically to be either arched back or to be slouched that way. That's the common presentation with pelvic floor dysfunction patients that I see. So let's say this is the one that's more common. So that's, that means the pelvis is tilted down, the back of the pelvis is tilted down. We wanna bring it neutral, but we don't even know what neutral is. So what neutral is, is when you're standing up, you wanna make sure that you are not collapsed here. It's not as easy to see for someone who doesn't know what they're looking at, to look at the pelvis to see if it's tilted, the back of it is tilted back, but it's the positioning of your rib cage, believe it or not, that would be an easier cueing for you as to what's happening. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stand up and see, uh, is this good? So if you're standing up and you're in this position, you may, if, if it's subtle, you may not notice that you are not in the right place, but you can notice that your rib cage is collapsed down. So if I were to bring the rib cage upward, I'm not gonna be doing this because that's not the solution to this problem. The solution to this problem lies in this area. So to bring this from collapsed to a neutral, I need to engage these muscles to push forward. And with that comes the positioning, better positioning of the pelvis from that position, going forward to tilting it a little bit in the opposite direction. Now, if you're overarching, the answer is elongation of the spine. We're rotating the pelvis around the ball, because that's a ball and socket joint. We're rotating the pelvis, which is the socket, around the ball. We're not shifting the ball forward. We're not shifting the ball backward. This is a concept that you need to invest the time in to understand how that works. If you're not following us here, make sure you follow us and you get the notification turned on. Make sure you follow us on uh, social media where we discuss these things a lot more in detail. All of that information is in the description box. I really, it's very hard to uh, make you uh, understand how things need to be positioning wise. So it only happens with practice and proper supervision. And also 
the purpose of this video specifically is to bring to your attention that the strength can happen when the position is off. So that first thing is to bring the position and then be strong. This is my advice to the beginners when it comes to strengthening the pelvic floor muscles. Hope this helped.